I want to say thank you for having the opportunity to be here to talk about such an important event. And important event because the American way of life is changing. The old days, where the old people like me were conservationists because we hunted or fished or something that actually connected this with some nature. We were there. We were out there. But the world is changing, the United States is changing, the American people are changing, you are changing. Demographically, the number of people, um, and it's a concern for people that care about fish, wildlife, plants, and their habitats for the benefit of the American people, and that's the mission of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. A game app, a game that has much bigger purpose. A game app that actually connects people with what they ought to be connected with to make this world a better place. Thank you, Paul, for having me. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be part of this whole thing. And I know you're all going to have a good time. And I know you're going to be really appreciative of this little tool you've got in your hand that we all have to embrace in terms of change coming to this country. Thank you. now the executive director for the Ding Darling Wildlife Society, Friends of the Refuge, and our supervisory refuge ranger, uh, Tony Westland and Bertie Miller. This wonderful app, and people are going to do it all over the country. You don't have to be here, obviously, to download the free app, and you're going to get a bunch of background information on President Teddy Roosevelt, the whole system, Ding Darling, who he was. So there's a lot of really just an example up there, silly um, ideas of how we have it going on. Um, so actually when you finish the, and this all happens off the wildlife drive, when you finish it you will get a score and you'll get a virtual badge that you can share on social media or with anyone. Um, besides that, so it's really cool there's a game component, but besides that you can leave field tips. So say you're out on the wildlife drive and you see an alligator, you can post that. So other people can see and you can actually post them on your phone by time or location. And also you can share photos. And as more people are taking pictures out with this app, you're going to see their pictures.